hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to solve question number 23 this is a series where we are solving the CBSC sample paper for 2024 for accountancy if you have missed out the previous videos do check them out the entire link to the playlist is available in the description box below and the link to the paper is also available where in this series we are making things easy for you guys to understand at a concept level and solve the sums at lesser time in the exam Without further ado, let's get started. This is a sum of issue on shares where we have to journalize. And there is a trick part in terms of the forfeiture and the premium. So let's understand. The directors of Rockstar Limited invited applications for 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each at 20% premium. So 2 rupees is premium per share. Shares were payable as rupees 5 on application rupees 4 on allotment including premium of rupees 2 so this is a 2 plus 2 combination and the balance on call let's understand how much is the balance 5 is here on application 2 on premium which is part of face value total 7 so remaining 3 is on the calls okay public had applied for 3 lakh 20 thousand shares so we have excess application out of which applications for 20 thousand shares were straight away rejected and the remaining were allotted on prorata basis that means applicants for 3 lakh shares were issued 2 lakh shares okay so there is a ratio of 3 is to 2 simba is an applicant he applied for 15000 shares he failed to pay the allotment money and the call money his shares were forfeited and out of that 6000 shares were reissued at a discount of 2 per share so let's get started with the journal the first one that we have is bank account debit and as you can see here people applied for 3 lakh 20 thousand shares application money per share is 5 so the amount that we write here is 3 lakh 20 thousand into 5 okay that becomes 16 lakhs right so that is our application money that we have received this is the journal bank account debit to share application account being application money received you can elaborate the narration by mentioning the number of shares and the application money per share right the next step is transferring that to the share capital account and allotting the shares so the application account is debited to share capital to share allotment this is for adjusting the excess application with allotment to bank this is for the refund all right let's understand how the amounts will sit here so share application account will be the same as above 16 lakhs share capital will be the actual number of shares which company is issuing into the application money per share excluding premium share capital never ex never includes premium or discount this is always the face value so 10 lakhs let's come to the bank account we know 20,000 shares were rejected so application money on that is refunded to bank account 1 lakh and we also know that we have an excess application on 1 lakh shares into 5 that becomes 5 lakh that is our excess application money which is adjusted with allotment this completes our this journal okay as you can see the narration being the shares allotted and adjustments made for excess application money with allotment and refunds okay the next journal is for making the allotment money due where the company is asking the shareholders to make the payment on allotment the second installment which is there share allotment account debit which is the expected money on the entire issue which is 2 lakh shares into allotment money of 4 per share and as we saw here this includes 2 rupees premium and 2 rupees towards the face value so this is equal division of 4 lakh each right so this completes our the third journal that we have let's move on to the fourth journal where we receive the application allotment money where we have bank account debit for the money actually we receive calls in arrears account debit for the defaulters who did not pay the allotment money to share allotment the total money expected on allotment now as we as we saw here we out of 8 lakhs we already received 5 lakhs here along with application as excess application money that we have adjusted with allotment so 
actually on allotment now then we're expecting to receive three lakh rupees and out of three lakhs we have a defaulter who is simba here let's come to the working notes to understand how much money he was supposed to pay on allotment there is a calculation to it all right let's do that for simba number of shares he applied for that is 15000 number of shares were allotted to him here we use the calculation of prorata allotment which is 15000 into 2 by 3 because he was allotted lesser number of shares so the ratio becomes 2 by 3 if we are doing the other way round from from allotment allotted shares we are trying to calculate number of shares applied for then the ratio becomes 3 by 2 right so application money he has paid when he applied for 15000 shares he paid 75,000 rupees, right? 15,000 into 5, which is the application money per share. Money due on allotment from him, he is supposed to pay 10,000 into 4, which is the total amount of 40,000. Money due on calls from him, which is 10,000 into 3 rupees, 30,000, right? So, excess application money for him is how much? He applied for excess 5,000 shares into the application money which is 5 rupees per share so excess application money is 25,000 right so how much money are we able to adjust with allotment total money due on for allotment is 40 so entire 25,000 we can adjust with allotment however we have to understand one thing here money due on allotment for is 40,000 where we have a split of 20,000 for the face value and 20,000 for the premium right and here also the excess application money that we are adjusting with allotment the 20,000 the entire face value we are able to adjust here and the remaining 5,000 the excess 5,000 we are adjusting towards premium that means on allotment we are left with 15,000 which is the premium amount only the entire face value has been received and out of the premium we have received 5,000 15,000 is not received here adjusted with calls we don't have anything so straight away a blank money refunded for simba there is nothing money to be paid on allotment this is important so out of 40000 which is due from him we have adjusted 25000 on allotment so he's left to pay 15000 which he could not pay as we saw in the question and money to be paid on call is 30000 which also he couldn't pay right so this 15000 which is to be paid he could not pay goes as calls in arrears against the allotment entry that we have here this one 15000 right so how much actually did we receive 3 lakh minus 15000 so 2 lakh 85000 we are receiving on allotment right after that we have the next journal where we are making the first call due since we have only one call here this becomes first and final call again we will make it due on the entire issue which is 2 lakh shares into 3 per share 3 lakh 6 lakhs right so this is our making the call money due the next step is receiving the call money again the journal entry for that is bank account debit calls in arrears account debit for the defaulters two share first and final call so two share and first and final call will be six lakhs that we are expecting to receive calls in arrears here again we have one defaulter which is simba himself thirty thousand he could not pay on call that goes as calls in arrears here so this table below in the workings make life really easy and it will help you in a lot of other sums as well so how much actually are we receiving on first and final call which is 5 lakh 70 thousand right so after he has defaulted both of these areas his shares are now getting forfeited the journal entry for that is share capital account debit securities premium reserve account debit two share for feature account two calls in arrears account let's understand this step by step this is where we have to use our understanding and concepts share capital account this means this includes the called up amount of the shares which are forfeited entire shares of simba are getting forfeited 
and all the calls are made so the called up amount is 10 rupees again remember the share capital will not include any premium securities premium reserve this is the tricky part and we have to remember this that the premium amount that we have not received can only be debited here so as per our workings out of this 20,000 premium we have adjusted 5,000 against that so remaining premium amount due on allotment this entire 15,000 is premium money that we haven't received so this is the amount we can debit during for feature not the amount that we have received as per the rules remember that to share for feature how much did we receive from him altogether for feature is the amount that we have received from him altogether that is not refunded excluding again excluding premium so here we have received 25,000 from him altogether he paid 75,000 right that is total money that he has paid application money and out of that 5,000 is adjusted towards premium that cannot be debited that cannot be readjusted or refunded right we have to exclude that from the calculation the money of premium that we have received so 75,000 minus 5,000 will be our amount that we have forfeited this is to be kept in mind a lot of students go wrong here and calls in arrears is the total money that he did not pay or could not pay so 15,000 and 30,000 which he could not pay that becomes 45,000 okay so let's check debit total and credit total are they matching 70 plus 45 is 115,000 and this is also 115,000 so this is our entire journal for for feature these two portions are really important and if you know the concepts you can do them easily otherwise you'll end up making a mistake the next journal that we have is the reissue out of these 10,000 shares which are forfeited 6,000 shares are reissued at a discount of 2 rupees per share okay so let's do a simple calculation bank account debit we are issuing 6,000 shares and we are issuing them at rupees 8 per share straight away 2 rupees discount that means 8 per share so that is 48,000 share for feature here share for feature account is debited this includes this is for the discount that we are providing on reissue which is 2 rupees per share so 2 rupees into 6,000 is 12,000 okay and share capital is the face value of 6,000 shares total value which is 6,000 into 10 that is 60,000 okay this completes our reissue entry hope this is clear and the narration says being 6,000 shares reissued out of the forfeited shares we have where we have forfeited 10,000 shares of Simba here the last journal where we transfer the profit on reissue to capital reserve and this one is also very important from the calculation point of view we will transfer the profit only on the shares which are reissued so on 6000 shares we have to calculate how much profit have we made let's come to our share for feature here we forfeited 70000 on 10000 shares right so how much is the share for feature per share a straightforward calculation 7 rupees okay 7 rupees we have forfeited per share we have given a discount of 2 rupees per share so the profit that we have made is 5 rupees per share a straight away calculation right so on 6000 shares how much profit did we make so that becomes 5000 5 rupees into 6000 shares so 30000 is my profit on reissue which I'm transferring to capital reserve this is the final entry where we transfer the amount to capital reserve so in the capital reserve in the share for feature account we still have 4000 shares left and that is at the value of 7 which is 7 into 4000 
28,000 that is still remaining. So once those shares are reissued, that will be transferred to Capital Reserve if there is any profit. Otherwise, those are shown at present in the balance sheet under share capital as add share for feature. Hope this was helpful. Hit the like button if this really helps you to make your concepts clear. Do share with your friends who can get benefit out of it. And hit the subscribe and the bell icon so that you get notified whenever there is a new video shared. Stay tuned for more videos in this series. Thanks for watching guys.